the greatest help is well. I, candidate number one, is now here to showcase my advocacy, sharing awareness, prevention of cancer. According to Philippine Statistic Authority, cancer is one of the leading causes of death in the Philippines at the any age. And this is a large group of diseases. So we should not take it for granted. Instead, we should have prioritized and take it seriously. Curing all these diseases is prolonged and prolonged and expensive. So indeed, prevention is better than cure. Educating people is one of the best ways in preventing these diseases by equipping knowledge and empower individuals to have healthier choices and to prevent acquiring, acquiring this disease. Through the, and also furthermore, dissemination of information of its causes, signs, symptoms, prevention, and treatment by a free uh, free seminars, trainings, also the, the utilization of online platforms, distribution of leaflets, and display of posters. Likewise, any physical activities and a community garden where everybody is involved and encouraged to plant fruits and vegetables and also this is possible with our help with the help of our LGUs and prevention thank you get it number one moving on to get it number two Tayo, hindi babae lang. Tayo ay may kagandahang naglayon, ngunit hindi tayo isang dekorasyon lamang. Sapagkat ang karamihan sa atin ay isang ilaw na nagsisilbing gabay sa ating mga tahanan. Tayo ay may pusong mapagmahal at marunong umunawa sa iba. Ngunit huwag nating kalilimutan na tayo rin ay may sariling kaisipan at kakayahan. Ang tingin ng ilan sa atin ay mahina at walang kakayahan. Ngunit hindi, hindi tayo mahina o walang kakayahan. Wala tayong dapat patunayan sa kahit kanino man. Subalit huwag natin kalilimutan na tayo rin ay maraming pananagutan sa ating lipunan at sa ating pamilya. Kaya bilang isang babae at bilang isang nanay, dapat nating matutunang Mahalin, pahalagahan, at irespeto ang ating mga sarili. Dahil sa ganong pamamaraan, mas maibibigay natin ang tamang respeto at pagmamahal sa ibang tao, higit sa lahat sa ating pamilya. Know your worth and believe in yourself. Make your own way in this world and be a proud woman. Ako po si Maribel Parto Sakura na nagpapaalala sa ating lahat. Babae ka, hindi babae lang. Be a strong, independent woman and be empowered woman. Thank you. Magintang hapon, Robinson's General Trias. I am Joanna Sumal from General Emilio Aguinaldo Cavite. I have a fierce advocacy for all the solo parents. My advocacy to support all the single parents around the world. Especially in my town, General Emilio Aguinaldo Cavite. I aim to strive for single parents charity organization to support solo parenting, whether it's through online research hub or an on-site charity events and activities. My advocacy is 
committed to educating, equipping, empowering all the Kapitanias, especially for all the single women without a partner. Tayo ay mga nanay at kailangan nating magpakatatag sa bawat pagsubok ng buhay. Ako ay naririto sa inyong harapan upang maging modelo ng katatagan dahil naniniwala ako na ang kapitenya ay matatag, matapang, may awa at magmamahal sa kapwa. Maraming salamat po. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. My name is Pastor Carmen Lagasca, representing of Barangay Navarro, General Estrias. As, as, as an as, aspiring advocate, as aspiring advocate from small entrepreneurs in General Trias, Navarro, I aim to champion the life and welfare of individuals and families for their, who run their own business. This advocacy is familiar or close to my heart. I am a mother of three and, I'm, and, and I wipe myself. I believe that by supporting small entrepreneurs, we cannot only update their life and also provide better opportunities for their families. I aim to provide a platform for their voices to heard and their, their, their needs to be addressed. This advocacy is from our mother who make a small business even in the house or in the in the in another place. I make I provide platform for their voices to heard and provide their needs. We can we can create a stronger and inclusive for our community. I'll thank you. Things comes to mind when I hear the word poverty, homeless, hunger, jobless, mga salita na nakatatak sa aking isipan. Dahil minsay aking naranasan, alam ko ang pakiramdam ng walang permanenting tahanan, kumakalam na sigmura, ang trabaho'y manghini ng gulay, at ang lahat ng ito'y aking nalampasan. Today, I stand here as an advocate to break the chains of poverty sa pamamagitan ng paglinang, ng kaalaman, at paglikha ng maliit na ikabubuhay that offer fair wages. And with the Mrs. Philippines organization, together, we can turn the tide against poverty and be the hope of the hopeless. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Merlex Gulugna, representing Pinagtipunan General Trias Cavite. To be the next Mrs. Philippines Cavite is both an honor and responsibilities. If I were to be the next Mrs. Philippines Cavite, I will use my voice to influence to all my motherhood. Everyone has a life test, struggles, and other situations in our life. But we have to be brave and strong as a mother. And now I am here to encourage and to show to all the moms out there, even though we have a children, still we have the ability to show our talent, beauty with a good heart, and the most important thing is God-fearing. Thank you so much. My advocacy is about depression. Because many people nowadays are experiencing depression. It is a proactive experiencing, like having family problems, school problems in our kids and to the young generations. And sometimes, abuse be like, insecurities and, uh, and, insecurities and emotional and physical abuse can cause depression. And you know what? 6.3 billion people here in the Philippines have this. Kaya sabi nga po ng ating mga daluhasa, ang depression ay nakakapagtulot ng matinding lungkot, matinding takot sa taong meron nito na humahantong minsan sa pagpapakamatay. 
Kaya, tulungan po natin sila. Huwag po natin silang pagtawanan. Depression is a serious matter. So be kind, be gentle, and respect others. At bilang isang ina at Mrs. Philippines Cavite, nais ko po sanang matulungan natin sila. Mabigyan natin sila ng proper care, proper attention, proper love, and especially a proper medication ng insan na hirap po nilang makuha. That's all. Thank you. Lang kami mabuhay. Ako po ay isang representative ng Salawag, Las Marinas. Ang aking advocacy ay para sa mga junior. Sana maintindihan na hindi lang seniors ang dapat bigyan ng mga benefits na kanilang natatamo. Pero nagpapasalamat pa rin ako dahil sila ay nagkakaroon ng benefits sa kanilang sobrang edad. Sa edad nilang yon na dapat na manaibigay. Pero dapat ang junior sa edad na 50 pataas, sana mabigay din. Pag binigay po natin sa edad na 50 pataas, at least mabibigay nila ang kanilang pinaghirapan na kanilang hindi lang nila mabibili ng lamot, ma magagawa pa nila yung gusto nila kahit na pambili ng mga damit, mabibigay nila yung pinagpagura nila since na sila ay nagkatrabaho. At the age of 50, dapat bigyan din natin ng benefits ang mga junior. Maraming salamat po. Good evening everyone. My advocacy is entitled Mom Power, Empowering Mothers for Life's Marathon. I created this advocacy because as a mother, I can relate and I want to help other mothers to improve their overall well-being, to strengthen their vital capabilities by providing them with the tools, knowledge, and support they needed to equip them with educational system and also um, also the beneficiaries are from diverse socio-economic backgrounds including single mothers, um, low-income families, and marginalized communities. I will implement this with the help of local community and nonprofit organizations, also with um, women's shelters, healthcare providers, and different businesses that is willing to contribute resources, expertise, and support. With them, we can conduct projects and project activities such as um, self-care and edu edu educational workshops, um, um, including the topics like stress management and personal development. Um, also, um, project activities like um, community events to foster belongings, a sense of belongings, and to celebrate the empowered mothers. Thank you, everyone. Mabuhay. Good evening to all of you. My advocacy, I'm advocating for education. Because during pandemic, the pandemic exposed us to digital divide as not all students had equal access to device and high-speed internet. I am a member of a community learning hub as a voluntary teacher at the Pasayani Reading Hub. And we have a lot of students who need support and mentorship. And I believe education is a human right. Every person, regardless of their background, deserves access to quality education as it plays a fundamental role in individual development social progress and economic growth. By investing education in our children, we are investing in the betterment of our community and society as well. And as a parent, education for my children is the most important heritage that I can give, that no one can steal it from them. And as the saying, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Thank you. Hi, good evening everyone. I'm Dean Cyril Baltazar, and I joined this pageant not only to empower women, but also to help Filipino community who is suffering anxiety and depression. 
We all know that many Filipinos have this kind of illness. And now, I'm standing here in front of you, and I, I am one to amplify my words and my voice to help younger, younger generation um, just to know that depression and anxiety is not a joke. And I want to help them by uh, standing here in front of you and join this pageant. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today to advocate for accessible health care, a fundamental human right that lies at the very core of a just and compassionate society. It is a lifeline that saves lives and empower individuals to reach their full potential. Accessible health care also champions in the principle of equal opportunities. When health care is accessible, children can pursue their education without being hampered by untreated health issues. Parents can work with peace of mind knowing that their family is covered. I'd like to highlight accessible health care through Bill Health. In a world that often feels divided, Bill Health unites us under one common banner, the banner of health and wellness. And to put this advocacy into action, I have participated in Barangay Sabang's medical mission. I will also be participating in the upcoming medical missions within the municipality of Nai. Together, I strongly believe that we can achieve a healthier Cavite towards a better Philippines. Once again, Munekuro proudly representing Nai. A pleasant night to all of you. It is open that a single mother or a mother is very challenging. The most challenging issue is that a lack of financial, a lack of financial issue. So as a Philippines, as candidate of Philippines Cavite, I will use this platform to use my voice to promote and campaign a small business. Small, small business to mother and the single parents. The project of a small business is to change their life, to change their life condition, to start new opportunity, and to create, and to create a new market, a new job, by sustaining our economy. Thank you.